So for all you younger generation out there that are in sales um, and, and you feel that you don't know what you want, because people will talk about goals, they'll talk about what do you want to achieve, you need a goal, you need to strive for something, but what do you do if you actually don't know what you want from life? Okay, well the first thing is, do not panic. Um, I had a 23 year old the other day that was telling me the exact same, and he, he was mentioning that he was worried, he, he really, he didn't know what he wanted from life, um, he, he had nothing to strive for, and and this is becoming, um, you know, this is becoming uh, more and more uh, um, prominent in young people nowadays. And so, here's the thing I want you to think about. Here's the thing to cure it. If you do not know really what you want, you're working in sales, but I really don't know what I want from life, Stephen. I don't know what I want to achieve. Well, here's the thing that you do. You apply the very best that you can to the job at hand. I'll repeat that. You apply the very best to the job at hand at that moment in time. And let me tell you why. There's a couple of things happen. But before I tell you them, let me share with you. I remember watching uh, Muhammad Ali years and years ago in, a, in an old black and white interview. And the chap said to him, he said, you know, Muhammad, what would you have been if you weren't a boxer? And Muhammad just leaned in and said to him, it doesn't matter, because even if I was a garbage man, I'd be the best garbage man in the world. <laughs> so there, there's something I want you to take from that. Now, back to the two things, you know, and, and the thing I want you to take from that is you've got to apply the very best to the task at hand. Don't worry if you don't know what you want at this moment in time. I didn't truly know what I really want until my late 20s. So apply the very best, and here's why. Two things happen. Number one, you get noticed. Doors open for you. People talk about you. You might even get headhunted, but doors open, people talk. You are best being that type of person if you, if you eventually leave a job that people talk about you for the good reasons. He was good, you know. We, we struggled to keep a hold of him. There were so many people, you know, they, there were so many offers for him. You know, number one, doors open and opportunities arise. You know, people will want to keep you if you're thinking of leaving, people will want to offer you maybe progression if they see that you're achieving everything that you can. You know, so opportunities um, rise. That's, that's one thing. The second thing is you're working your discipline muscle. I'll say that again. You are working your discipline muscle. Sometimes it takes discipline to be the very best. Well, most, probably every time, it takes discipline to be the very best at something, to give it everything that you've got, to focus, to not be distracted. Um, every, all of these things, hard work, take discipline. And what you're doing is you're actually working the muscle of discipline. So, so if you're used to doing things when you really don't want to do them or when you're not in the right mood but you know it's the right thing to do, you're working that discipline muscle and you're, that will then spread into your life and all the things that you do, you know, whether it's health, you know, I don't feel like I run this morning, it's a bit gloomy and wet. Yeah, that's the time to do it. That's the time to shut up and do it. You know, I really can't get up for sales today. Shut up and do it. You're working your discipline muscle. So, don't worry that you don't know what you want at this moment in time. Just apply the very best that you can to the task at hand and doors will open for you. Uh, I hope you have a great sales day. Um, take care. Speak to you soon.